upper body, there's a few secrets how to do it. Number one, you want to set up directions through that stretch. But that's not the most important. The most important is what happens after. It's that ripple effect from your shoulder through the rib cage, through the hip into the heel. So it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all the way to the ground. So you start with the, your rib cage and then let your ripple go down, like through the compression, it ripples down, and that ripple should time your leg to close. In this case, you will have very organic, very connected movement. So if I demonstrate here, so you started with your rib cage and it ripples down, and then at a certain moment when it gets to the middle, it starts activating this leg. Now the same here, we change, and this ripple is going to be a little bit faster down. So you're focusing on rippling down through the rib cage hip into the heel. And the same here, this ripple here should time that leg and step. And then you'll see that chest lead. So it will look something like this, cha, 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 cha. And you, as you notice, we don't stop, we don't do just hip, there's the whole rippling effect which happens under, under your shoulder. Follow for more.